How you doing, Abs? You good, bro? Yeah, rookie. Wicked, cool? man. Yeah. So this is your R32, right? Mark 5? Yeah, Mark 5. Bit, of a, bit of a custom job? It is. It's got a bespoke turbo kit fit to it. Okay. Uh, started off life with a HGP, I think it was an MTM HGP 400 kit. All right. And uh, ran that for a little while and got bored. And bored, that's yeah. it. Yeah, went for a new setup, bro. So, so, so it originally, so you bought it with the HGP, right? I bought it with a HGP kit on there, yeah. Mm, I was uh, running sweet. Uh, to be honest, I actually wanted to get another map put on there. That, w that was the initial plan. Okay. And then, bro, it went from a map to a full engine rebuild, bro. Did everything, yeah? Yeah, full work. So, so, so what is it you're running on it now then? So you had HGP. Uh, what, what is it a different turbo you got in there now? Yeah, the original one was a hybrid GT30. This one's a Garrett GT3582R. Garrett, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what's the power output? Well, to be honest, I've had it on the rollers. Uh, Haldex started playing up. On the first run, it made 535. Wow. And we just left it there, yeah, 535 at Surrey Rolling Road. Wow. And yeah, I'm happy with that, bruv. I wanted 500, and yeah. I got 500, so. Okay, so how long has it been? It's not been long, has it? You've had the car back? Bruv, I've had it back for two weeks. It was off-road for just over a year, to be honest, getting all the work done on it. Yeah. And um, yeah, I've just had it back recently, man. So I'm just getting used to it, bruv, to be honest. Yeah. So, so what's it like then? You know, how do you? Oh, what's it like, bro? It's savage. <laughs> it's savage. Yeah. It's savage. You know what? It's got like a Jackal and Hyde personality. It's got a split personality, to be yeah. honest. You know what I mean? It, one minute it's quiet. It can be subtle. As soon yeah. as you plant that right foot, bro, all yeah. the hell breaks loose. Because this engine in itself, what is it? The three point two. Three point two. Yeah. Kind of similar to the VR six, right? So, yeah, it is a VR6 engine. VR6, yeah. yeah. It is a VR6 so engine. So it's just plenty of character just with the engine in it itself. It has. In the engine, it, it's, it's really, it's smooth. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's smooth. It's 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 practical. Now you've got the power to match that sound, power right? To, yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah. Definitely. So, so anything else you got done? Like, I noticed um, you got some different wheels there. Wheels, yeah. Wheels are Rolter G-Force, 18 by 8 and a half, running okay. the, I've got AD08Rs on there. All right. Ran. Mm -hmm. uh, best in the summer, to be honest. Yeah, a bit wet today. Yeah, the cold weather don't really help. But yeah. once you get a bit of temp in them, they're good. Okay. Uh, brakes? Brakes, currently running Zimmerman discs, cross steel discs, mm -hmm. and the EBC yellow pads on there. Okay. But to be honest, I need to operate them. Yeah. On my previous setup, it was all right. On the new yeah. setup, it's not the best. Okay. It could be better. And chassis-wise, AP coilovers at the moment. I had KWs previously. Yeah. They started leaking, and then Okay. I'll just operate to APs, H&R, front and rear anti-roll bars. Cool. And Powerflex bushes. Perfect question. Yeah. And uh, what about interior wise? Um, you got a interior, DSG box? Yeah, yeah. I've got so DSG. what are they? Are they dual clutch? Dual clutch. Dual clutch, yeah. How is it? How is it? Oh, wicked, bro. It wicked, really, yeah. really goes well together with the uh, setup that I'm running at the moment. It's smooth. It's yeah. day to day London driving, bro. You can't, you can't really complain. Mm. And the way this thing picks up, you can't really shift as quick as you can that the DSG does. And is, has it, it, does it been flashed or anything like that? Yeah, right? yeah. I'm running United Motorsport software, the engine, DSG, and the Haldex. Okay. What about exhaust? Exhaust systems uh, custom is running a three inch downpipe, decat, and then it's mated to a catback MG Motorsports exhaust. Okay. It's from Poland, uh, running four inch titanium tips. Mm -hmm. But it's wicked. It doesn't drone too much uh, when you're cruising on the motorways and that. Yeah, well, I heard and you start it up. It don't sound yeah, it's ugly subtle, now, it's does subtle. it? Yeah. yeah, I wanted the OEM Plus look. Do you understand? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't want it to be too loud. Mm. And the screamer makes up for it anyway when you're on full chat. So. Yeah. Oh, you've got like a diffuser as well? Is that something? Yeah, I picked up the front splitter and the diffuser from Mad Motors up north, I think in Huddersfield. Mm. So I think it really suits the back end of yeah, it. Yeah, it looks nice. Considering yeah. that it's turbo, it just mm. it just adds to it, to be honest. So what is it actually that's done to the engine? Are the internals been Internals been done. Or? Yeah, it's a fully built engine. Yeah. Uh, I'm running a Promath. It's got a custom four inch intake, all mm -hmm. hard piped, again, fabricated. Uh, I mentioned earlier the GT3582R turbo. It's got a 106 exhaust housing. Okay. Uh, it's running a 45 mil hypergate wastegate external screamer. Again, uh, all the intercooler piping, running two and a half inch with silicon couplings, all hard piped. There's a lot of things that were done to it, to be honest. Yeah. You know, like little little bits and bobs, like relocation of the water bottle, uh, washer bottle, the charcoal canister been relocated. Mm. Uh, but a lot of fabrication has gone into it, man. So. Uh, but words don't do it any justice. Yeah. You gotta drive it. Yeah. It's running 870cc injectors. Uh it's running a Mark IV fuel rail setup with a return setup that is. Mm. The Mark V doesn't have a return on there. It's got the short runner intake and uh front man intercooler. Okay. Again, it's been cus custom, it's all been fabricated to mm. mount into the rebar. But yeah, man, a lot of time and effort's gone into this car, bro. Like I said, it's not an off-the-shelf kit, it's bespoke to how I wanted it and I'm happy with it. 
And what do you think it's running today then? I know you said you dined it that day at 535. Yeah, it's definitely 500 plus. Yeah. yeah and what's the doubt. torque figure? Talk, it was pushing out 480 foot pan, but even on the actual wow. graph itself, it was climbing, it was still climbing, it wasn't dropping. Jeez. So, the power figure was still climbing. Mm. So, there's enough there, bruv, to keep you happy. Do you know what I mean? Should we jump in, take it for a spin? Yeah, definitely, bro. Come on.
faster. Mm. So you're forever changing, so it just all adds up.
become fun, it needs to be 500 plus bhp. This just comes out of the threshold and makes it exciting. Um, I mean, this car, because of its engine sound, of course, it's going to bring a lot of drama anyway. Like these in stock form are brilliant because of the engine. It's just so much. That's why the C63 is brilliant because it's got an epic. No. Um, but this, look, 500 plus. You know, you got to be a good driver. I think it might be just because we're in an older car as well, man. Oh, just, just, yeah, it's partly that as well. It's copy. The car's a bit older. But I think realistically, and it's not as the actual engine. Yeah, definitely. It makes yeah. the biggest difference. But I mean, if this was, if this engine was in a Golf R, oh, yeah. I would feel sorry for the whole world. Because the thing is, the roads we've been on now, I'm backing off because of the actual car itself. Honestly, What's the price honestly, tag, man? There's no price tag on this, bro. You can't put a price on it, to be honest, man. You can't. This is a car that I would definitely want, man. So much for welcome, bro. Let me have a spin in this, man. Yeah. I mean, this is a truly special car. I'm glad you enjoyed. I it, would. Bro. This is a definitely a keeper, man. Wow, man. I'm I'm, I'm overwhelmed with how. Um, but it's taken a lot of time to get here. Do you know what I mean? This is one of those cars. Like you see the GTR. If you're a speed freak, it will cure your buzz. Yeah. That you crave. Mm. You go home. You're humbled. Yeah, that's it. I told you, it's like, it's an addiction, it's a drug. Guys, man, look, we're gonna end See the video you. there. <laughs> um, yeah, if you did enjoy it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching, bye. Ha, ha, ha.